Now, my mama used to tell me, and yours probably told you too, if you can't say something nice about somebody, don't say anything at all. Well, I've tried to follow that advice, but I thought I'd share some things with you that some folks said to make you wonder what their mamas told them. Sir Winston Churchill said, he has all the virtues I dislike and none of the vices I admire. <laughs> that famous lawyer, Clarence Darrell said, I've never killed a man, but I've read many obituaries with great pleasure. Moses Hattis, he's a literary giant and famous translator of works, wrote to a man and said, thank you for sending me a copy of your book. I'll waste no time reading it. And Mark Twain, one of my favorite writers, said, I didn't attend his funeral, but I sent a nice letter saying that I approve of it. <laughs> Oscar Wilde, who's another famous author, playwright, and poet, said, he has no enemies, but is intensely disliked by his friends. <laughs> Actor Stephen Bishop said, I feel so miserable without you it's almost like having you here. <laughs> and Irvin S. Cobb said, I've just learned about his illness. Let us hope it's nothing trivial. <laughs> and another one from Mark Twain said, why do you sit there looking like an envelope without any address on it? And the master of all of them Groucho Marx said as he was leaving a party, I've had a perfectly wonderful evening, but I'm afraid this wasn't it. Well, my mama may not have approved completely about these, but I'm sure even my mama would have had to grin at some of these. <laughs> I'm Jim Ritchie, and I'll see you again next time.